All right, a little bit of food for us. And then good job, guys. Thanks for waiting while I took a nap. I can't believe that the wolves attacked us yet again. I can only assume that they had a lot of bad experiences with humans out here. Noodle, can you hopefully keep an eye out for them? I know that your friend is somewhere around here. Noodle pets. Oh, Noodle, you are so cute. I love how Noodle just wants to be sleeping all the time. It's so freaking adorable. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Red Lantern, where Slayer is still being extremely secretive about her story. And I'm hoping that we're going to be able to discover some new elk somewhere out here in the big forest. And maybe if we manage to keep ourselves down towards the south of the map, we'll stumble on those elk again. But I do still want to be able to find some of the tools that would really help us be able to pursue these adventures. Like, you know, being able to get the trap, or maybe the fishing rod, or really the dog booties. I feel like one of my first priorities should of course be the pups. Which means that, of course, I want to find those dog booties for them. But, Slayer? How you doing, girl? Uh, come here, buddy. She's such a good girl, and hopefully we will actually be able to figure out what her deal with Elk is and win her trust over. So far, she's the only one of the dogs in this team that we haven't learned the story of. Though, as we recently discovered by digging through all of our old journals last time, we still don't know Gail's story. We've got to fix that. Food time. Chow down, pups. All right, come on, puppers. In fact, I wonder... Here, you guys go ahead and have a couple snacks. I'm going to save some for emergencies. But I wonder if as we unlock the dog stories, if it might be fun to really make it so we unlock them in our Sims 4 crossover we're doing. Pretty soon here, we're hoping that Iggy and Chomper will have some puppies. So if you guys haven't been following those adventures, I definitely recommend giving them a go. Iggy, I think you'd make a great mom. You're very protective after all. I take off, but I fear frostbite. Oh, she's so cute. I just love her. Oh, every time I see her, I just feel like I could curl up against that big marshmallow and take a very like content nap by the fire but we'll wait to get back to the cabin to do that iggy all right back on the trail let's go ahead and get back all on right. the trail let's mush on and actually speaking of getting back to the cabin we really should make it a goal in our sims 4 crossover series where we carry on with the life of our musher here to actually build the cabin in the snowy wilderness that should be her end goal the dream of all of her dreams meanwhile how are you guys doing Oh, they seem like they're really full of energy. Work on the road. Where to? Uh, should I go ahead and decide? I kind of want to go haw, but let's let the dogs decide. Their instincts usually are really, really valuable. All right, thanks, Chomper. I thought things were going to plan. Things are going to plan. Are... Don't plan. Okay, the wolves are following us. That's okay. How about what's meant to be will be? I don't think we've said that a few times. We found the test we wanted. That's really, that's not enough motivation. Look, if I am struggling for survival on the edge of the wilderness, I need to give myself better pep talks. Oh, is something coming up here? What's this? Oh, a bullet. What All right, that? that's worth it. Good job, Chomper. I don't want to find out who this belonged to, but we'll take what we can find. I feel like we're really starting to delve in, into some sort of like... Thanks for waiting, pups. Lost the left. long dark sort of adventure. Let's be safe out there. Where there's just all these frozen pieces of people's presences everywhere and like very hungry wolves and fighting for survival. Hmm. <sighs> Let's go. Um I really want to go haw actually, but I feel like I should let the dogs lead again. I mean they haven't really let us down so far. I mean they'd never let us down. Hey Slayer! Yes! You know what, we should probably let her go ahead and guide us. I wonder if that gives us a better chance of finding out more of her story. Oh, weasels! Huh, would you look at that? All right, let's go ahead and follow them. I think Bendiga's pretty protective about his food after all. Look Where'd at that little go? cutie. Distracting us. I guess their distraction didn't work. You're far too food territorial to allow a weasel to steal something from you. <laughs> Bajanga does not like sharing, and he is not going to let that weasel take something. All right, you want to treat? and chow down on that piece of meat. I'll pack up the weasel. Good job, Bodega. I appreciate you looking out for us. Good job, boy. They end up a little fuller. We end up with a little more meat. Another meal ready to go. 
Something tells me Bodega wouldn't mind a dog bed Radio? lined with weasel fur. Just saying. Might as well use the resources we have out here, right? More respectful to the animals and the balance of nature that way. <sighs> I've got to work on my pet talks. I'm not just... Okay, that's fine. Really loving the way that the eyes are just glintering, like glittering in the darkness there. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Uh, do I need to hunt it now? Ah, uh, that's a caribou. Should I check it out? Should I leave it? Let's check it out for a second. Okay, Pope, stay nice and quiet. Let's see if it'll come closer. Oh, it's really far away, though. Nope, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Fine, let's leave. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had him just walk off on me like that before. Sometimes he comes let's closer. Go, All right, let's go, Chomps. I probably should be thinking about getting us more food since we have so many bullets. Oh, with hundreds of things that could happen out here. Fork in the road. Where to? All right, guys, I'll let you all pick this time. And then next time, if I need to be a little more decisive, I will be. I also hope I can work on my motivational speeches. Hey, good job, Slayer! You probably wanted to get us that food and I just didn't quite make it happen. I'll work hard this time, I promise. But, you know... Pop, see that? Wait, what was that? Oh, hey! Med pack? Oh, please be hey, please bullets! One I'll bullet. take it! You know what? Better than nothing. All right. Your pups do okay? We're gonna start getting kind of hungry though, so I really hope we left. find some food soon. Let's but, get right. back out there. Motivational. Motivational. I'm sure there is the biggest, fattest, laziest bull elk just right around the corner. I am positive that uh, maybe there's some paw prints that we're gonna stumble upon that will guide us to some delicious knobs. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh! No way! We found a moose. We could use a few good meals. Okay. There we go. Positive thinking. It worked. Don't mind us. That and luck. Alright, should I wait and see if it gets closer? The last time it left, but... Oh, hello. Alright. This could be a very dangerous encounter. We'll all have some food tonight. Whoa. Wow. Motivational speech. It really worked. Hey, look what I found. Definitely plenty some to eat food. now. I wouldn't mind a snack. Three bullets left. Let's go, Chopper. Good job, guys. You did lead us to what we needed. I'll go ahead and everybody gets a big snack before we, you know, get Should back on get? the trail. All <sighs> right. What needs to be done? All right, first things first, let's go ahead and get some of that warmth fire with the fire nice. pit. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. And then, who needs pets? All right, so Bodega, good job on the whole weasel thing. You don't care much for pets, do you? Good job on defending the food from the weasels, Bodega. No wonder you hang out next to the tree where the food hangs out. You're either trying to steal it behind all of our backs, which I don't think you would mind, or you're also trying to make sure that nobody steals it from us. Which is great! More of the food motivated type. Oh, you're so wonderfully scruffy. Good boy. And then let's see, who else needs some pets? I think we'll go ahead and Slayer? You did guide us to this big pets, moose. Pets, pets. Good job. Noodle doing good, Iggy doing good, Chomper doing good. I think Chomper's just relieved. I'm not currently experiencing broken ribs due to another musk ox. Uh, all right. Well, you Good know, time. I don't mind getting a little Chow tired. Because we tend to see very interesting things when we get tired. So let's go ahead and feed the pups this much for now. I'll make some food myself, and then let's see if we can ride I'm a little bit further tonight. night. Hmm, should I go? I'll go ahead and get full myself. Sometimes the dogs are able to get things, you know, on the run. All right, everybody ready? Okay, Chomper, you look so snug as a bug right over there, I buddy. I you out here, buddy. We just no, have no, to keep no, going. No, 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 no. Motivational, motivational speeches. 
In fact, I was actually thinking just before we back on the trail, jumped onto the so snowy trail again there. today. If you guys were going to go on an adventure, just completely, completely dive into something with both feet the way that our musher has, what would you guys do? We're making progress. All right, I'm gonna let the pups decide. But even if you weren't like a hundred percent prepared. What adventure would you be- good job, Noodle! Would you be willing to go on, even if it felt a little risky? Like, pretend you can be as successful as the musher. Oh, what's that? I don't know if I'll ever feel comfortable running on top of water. Oh, Doesn't geez. look like you pups like it much either. There's hey. something up ahead. Is that a fish wreck? <gasps> I suppose a river is a good spot for it. Noodle! Good job! I wonder when someone last fished here. It doesn't look like this has held fish in forever. There's a fishing pole still here. I mean, I left it for a reason. <laughs> this is like literally only the second time this has ever happened. Good boy, Noodle. A bear definitely got them though. At this point, it seems safest to assume that any unexplained absence means a bear got them. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's what happened. Okay. Not motivational. I mean, technically so, that's motivational. Uh, if you don't want to be eaten by a bear, we're taking the fishing pole. Well, I can always bring this back later. This can certainly be put to better use than his decoration. Hey, chumps. He gets so excited when we find stuff. Yes, now we can go Maybe fishing. I try it out here. Absolutely. And now we wait. All right, let's go ahead and try to get the fish. Down we go. All right, and then up we go. I'm coming for you, little guys. Maybe sockeye salmon. There's dozens. Well, there's at least four different species of salmon and a lot of the Alaskan National Parks. Oh, hey, we did some fishing! Not. I think I like fishing. Nice! Time to get back out there. <laughs> Which you guys will know if you actually see the little filled notes we have that at the end of it. every episode. Ah, <sighs> I love discovering new things. I guess... Let's be safe out there. That's actually part of this whole journey with the musher too, isn't it? I love discovering new things, but if you're 100% prepared for everything that you're going to try to do in life, then of course you're never going to really discover something new. I mean, if you're so prepared, you've already thought through every outcome, you've already covered every contingency, then I guess there wouldn't be anything left to surprise you. Oh, oh look. You pop see that? It's a caribou. All right, I would not mind. Let's go ahead and watch it for a second. This is when we whisper, right? Okay. Let's try the caribou call. So, yeah, they just, uh... They grunt. Kind of a shriek, but let's try a grunt. Uh, nice. Oh, that worked? Huh. Is it coming at us? Uh, did I just do a mating call? Does he think I'm a girl caribou? Or does <laughs> she think I'm a boy caribou? They can all grow antlers. You know, we don't need to ponder the concept of a caribou identity right now. We need to... All right, let's go ahead and sorry, got the dogs to feed. I didn't to call to work this well. We won't need to hunt so much once I find where their booties have run off to. Yes, nobody's starving tonight. Let's go. Nice. Good hunting, pups. That was a good diversion. Some more food. Two bullets left, team. And I mean, let's I'll take shopping. the fish. But let's see if we can find anything else. Like the booties, the wolves again. It's always exciting to know you're being chased by wolves. And unfortunately, I do have a lot of food. We kind of are a running target. All right, I'll let you guys decide. I might have to be the one to call the shots on the next run, though, if we're going to have hopes of being able to find some of the resources we're really looking for. Go for it, Noodle. Noodle, you get all the credit for finding the fish this time. How about a little snack when we manage to hit camp tonight? Ah, but... Looks like we've found someone's dinner. Nothing for you to chase this time, Chomper. Wait, what? Oh my! There's just a this dead caribou. Looks pretty fresh. We okay. Should be quick if we're gonna do anything. Uh, salvage to me. Get ba let Bodega get a snack. Bodega, you did manage to protect things. Quickly take one meat. Leave. Let's let Bodega get a snack. Go on. It's okay. Oh, I've okay. never seen that you before. Good? Bodega loves all the snacks. We did discover something new. Thanks, dead caribou roadkill sled you know, kill. I suppose. Me. Let's get back out there. 
All right, that was mildly concerning, also possibly somewhat hilarious. Iggy Slayer Noodle, don't get yourselves all tangled up in the line, please. Ah. But all right, I think we're really making it, you guys. And actually, tonight's run has really helped me think a lot more clearly on if we really are prepared for everything, the way I keep harping on the What's musher up? for not having been prepared. You think it's worth checking out? What is out there? Yeah, why not? What's going on here? Hello? Huh. I wonder what the huh. pups thought was out here. I guess it already left. Wait, what? That's new. Okay. I've I never had something just be empty oh. before. That's fine. Just raise the hair on the back of my neck. I feel like I'm being followed now. But yeah, there's just the thought for the day, guys. If you are prepared for everything and every contingency, then there might not be something like new to discover. There might not be the opportunity to just be surprised by life. And yeah, you don't want bad surprises like a bear attacking you. Hey, good job, Slayer! Or a wolf possibly biting you. But there's a lot of good surprises in life, too. I think I'd rather have the skills to take on pretty much more or less everything that I think there's might happen. There. Oh, hey! Yep. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. So definitely still here. Is that that moose again? Oh! <gasps> Amazing. We've run into a lot of moose this time. Okay. Potentially a very big meal. Any luck? We don't really need this much, but it might help us get to the cabin. Yes! Now, if only we could actually pack all this meat. We'll take what we can. I'm sure someone else will get the rest. Whoa. I don't think we've hey, ever had so much have. food. Some more food. Only one. All right, left. so this is the best hunting we have ever food. had. I have a feeling we can definitely make it all the way to the cabin as long as we're careful from go? this point out. But all right. So guys, maybe we don't need to be prepared for everything. Maybe the musher's onto something. What do you guys think? I'm gonna think about that a little bit more next time. But if you guys could, do please leave a like for Bodega and for Slayer and for Noodle finding the fishing pole. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. What but most importantly... Oh, what's this? Okay, oh. so we've got someone's meal. And there is going to be... We're going to go ahead and wait Let's and just see. wait. Uh, let's see what we'll happens. Just give the other animal a chance to collect its meal. <laughs> And stay curious. I'll see you guys next oh. time. Okay then. Bye-bye. <laughs>